What is going on guys? Wiser here and I am bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta and it was a bit of a special war. Um, as you know, we just had our family scrim over the Christmas holidays. Uh, so all three of our clans uh, after the scrim kind of were all around the same search times. So <laughs> it just happened that Invicta and Swarm randomly matched up. Uh, no joke, <laughs> it seriously was. I mean, uh, kind of warned, they were warned ahead of time that it potentially could happen, but and it did. Uh, we all had a war actually after, uh, after the scrim and then it happened the next war after that. So uh, let's check it out and see what happened. Invicta was victorious, 71-59. So uh, they held true to, uh, you know, being Invicta really showed uh, Swarm guys well, what it takes to get there. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of people actually don't know this. Um, and I'm going to touch on this a bit. And I'm telling you, we're doing a video very soon. Um, me and Chief Kev, uh, our leader, the 2.0 leader, uh, Nemo, who is, um, you know, basically one of the co-founders of One Hive altogether. Um and DWS, uh, uh, co-leader and the war general for Invicta, uh, we're all we're going to get together and actually explain to you guys everything that's kind of been going on. Um, I've had a lot of questions. I just want to say that it is coming. Um, we're just having scheduling issues getting us all together, but it's happening. So uh, just sit tight, guys. Uh, the information is on the way. Um, uh, Another thing I just would like to say right now is uh, our chain 2.0 is our own one high family. Um, we, you know, 2.0 is our, our main clan. Uh, Invicta is kind of um, in between Swarm and 2.0. Invicta does a lot of their own arranged matches and it's kind of just the next step up before 2.0. Uh, really, they are their own war clan. So uh, don't want to take anything away from those guys because once you see some of these attacks, you'll understand what I'm talking about and you've seen them before anyway. So, um, you know, Invicta is kind of our second war clan. And then Swarm is our uh, feeder clan, essentially, right? It's a uh, feeder and training clan. Uh, we get guys, uh, that's, that's where you go as a Town Hall 9, 15, 15 heroes, and you're trying to join the 2.0 chain. So that is our chain of clans, guys, that always has been. I think that has been a very common misconception. When I joined, uh, I joined Invicta, and until I was in Invicta, I didn't fully understand uh, the hierarchy. All right, so that's how I, I can understand. Uh, I just want to make that clear. Uh, and we will make that even more clear once I have this interview video, which I'm telling you will happen this week. So uh, just sit tight for that. This <laughs> is also going to be a very long video. So I'm just going to jump right into this, right? Invicta um, did very well. I don't know if they did clear all the nines. I missed one or two, one. Um, so just missed one of the nines. Fantastic job, Invicta. Really just kind of ran the board here. Uh, I have an few awesome replays. I'm going to start with MK's hit on the top nine, Knife Parte. MK brings uh, Shattered uh, Entry with uh, five Valks as well. I thought that was really cool. Drops a couple uh, minions down at the nine o'clock location. Start creating his funnel. Uh, here goes the uh, here go the golems I'm just talking about. Uh, a huge funnel. That whole nine o'clock to 12 o'clock section is going to be taken out. I don't even need this. I don't know why I have that on. I had it on for earlier. I'm going to take it off. Helps me hear myself better. <clears throat> so, MK is just rocking this like a beast. Opens up the wall. Five Valks go in behind. Out comes that Clan Castle. It's a bunch of Valks in the Clan Castle, so it actually worked out with the Double Poison. Double Poison goes down. Uh, those CC troops don't stand a chance. There goes that first jump. Uh, I really kind of like the jump placement in this attack. Uh, because if you kind of watch, it's going to feed the Valks to the clustered buildings, and they're easy. They're going to go exactly where he wants them. So as you can see, Tesla Expo going down, Town Hall's going down. He even starts to clean up Wizard before he even drops a hog on that nine o'clock position. So uh, Valks are going to keep working their way along. He dropped one hog only or two hogs, yeah. Um, kind of just help take out that mortar, help continue the Valks along their path there. Uh, the Valks end up getting kind of the end of their train, and as you can see, he's about to send in a bunch more hogs on this uh, six o'clock mortar and just kind of starts feeding the you know hog portion of this raid um, bit by bit right he's just kind of following the Valks I like to play a game like I've always said when I Valk and I go the hoe 
I play this game called follow the dots because you don't know 100% exactly where they're going to go. So you just have to kind of feed your hogs in at the right locations. I love the giant at three o'clock. I thought that was great. Good tanking for like the two hogs, the two hogs there. Um, Oh, I just missed the heel. Sorry. Uh, but the three hogs or four or five hogs coming in from that back end, going to wreck that Tesla is the one hog on the Archer Tower, which was really cool too. So MK just ripped it up, buddy. Lots of Velox left for the cleanup as well. Arch Queen's back there to clean up Wiz at that 12 o'clock. Cheers, my friend. Sexy go low. All right. What else I got here? headset <clears throat> uh number five right down the hop alpha had a really sexy attack here uh 10 valves but four healers as well so look at that comp like crazy crazy comp here very crazy spell it brings the earthquakes uh drops a queen walk down here but he also is gonna uh, very shortly drop the uh, earthquakes up i believe at the top location well maybe i'm maybe i'm crazy i swear to god the earthquakes were up top there um, but you can see this queen walk's going to start working our way all the way down around the six o'clock position. Uh, things are looking pretty fantastic at this point. Maybe the earthquake's right there. This is another replay. I watched so many replays in the last couple of days. It was really busy for New Year's Eve, right? So, uh, getting caught up on all my class stuff today. Queen walk is going swimmingly, even though that expo is locked on. Uh, but see what I mean? Like the, the expo is really kind of... The healers are struggling to keep up with the expo, but okay at this point does meet a little bit of threat when that Tesla goes. So she, uh, so he goes ahead and pops that ability. Man, been a long couple of days. Um, but look, <laughs> look at this. Like it's taking a minute fifteen pretty much to do this whole portion, and goes ahead and sends in a cold blooded entry at that mortar. Creates a nice funnel with a couple minions. Like fine and dandy. Opens up this corner. Funnel is now created. This uh, this mine's gonna go down. Drops the Valks. Very smart placement of the Valks. If you drop them up there, there's a good chance they would have went over that storage. Drops them on this side though. Everything's gonna go in. Very good value on that earthquake. Gonna let everything else sit. And then really, there's only you know maybe half the base left um, for these for the loons to take care of. He really it really needs to try and take care of that air defense down there. I'm actually not sure what he does for that. Um, but other than that, all the air stuff is taken care of. So even here come the balloons. A couple on that Tesla, a couple here, a couple here. I think that queen ends up stepping up and taking out that air defense. Yeah, it is in range right there for sure. So beautiful attack, Alpha. I was really, really impressed with this one. 30, 30 heroes just beasting it in. All air defense is down. Few defenses remaining. That expo is about to be toast. There's like a Tesla and an Archer Tower and a mortar down at the bottom there. Nothing to contend with these balloons coming in, plus his uh, uh, heroes. Swag haste. Love it. <laughs> Dropped it. It got a little bit of value. Job Alpha, nice tack. Right. <clears throat> Mudbuster gets busted up here by Skip. So, um, I've been talking about kind of trying to explain, uh, I'm going to pause this real fast, uh, <clears throat> trying to, trying to explain some very basic attacks. This is pretty much a perfect example of your standard, uh, standard shattered go home, right? Um, spells, true comp, everything, a few giants to tank, two golems handful of wizards and some wall breakers okay one jump three heals poisons for the cc um if your base gets is able to be three starred by this attack then you need to kind of get back to square one no offense mod buster in any fashion but um watch what skip does here and i'm going to try and explain it in finer detail so he goes ahead and he's going to drop a minion over here start kind of creating this funnel drops his first goal Couple wizards gonna continue on with the funnel. He's gonna drop another golem. He's counted those tiles from that cannon there. And that determined the placement of that golem. I'm telling you that right now. So the second golem goes down, I'm gonna tank that. He's gonna to continue to create the funnel. He needs to get that cannon down. He's gonna open up the wall. I don't pay attention to that hog right there, but that's a really good move as well. Getting good tanking. 
Uh, defense is going down, kind of moves that golem over to that cannon as well. So here come the wall breakers. Going to open this corner of the base. Funnels all created. King's going in there. Golem's going in there. Uh, the uh, Arch Queen's going in there. Double Poison's going to go down, take care of the bazillion gob <laughs> goblins that just came out of the CC. Uh, double poison so OP because you can just like lay it down and make sure that witch dies, no problem. Um, so the CC is taken care of. Everything's looking good at this point. Uh, Kill Squad's getting a great push. Still both abilities available on his heroes. <clears throat> defensive King is now dead. He really needs to get up into this compartment to take care of that Defensive Queen. That's what is delaying the hogs right now. Um, so your goal here is to make sure your king gets to this queen, which is about to happen. Has already raised up the king, so but it doesn't matter. You watch. Goes over, smack, smack. The queen is even in there helping out. Defensive queen is down and the hogging has commenced, right? <clears throat> three heals. If you're bringing three heals, use them, right? Like don't delay that he first heal so much that you lose a bunch of hogs. Don't use it too early. You got to find that balance of the patience, but... Um, if you bring three heals, use them, guys. I can't stress that enough. So there goes that second heal. All these hogs moving in. Look at this. <laughs> More hogs in from the backside. I think he had like seven or eight hogs coming in for just this one chamber with the last heal down. Beautiful. Three more hogs down on that arch tower. Clean up whiz on that very end as well, guys. Um, the best places to drop your cleanup troops is on the outside of a ring somewhere. Uh, he already had two whiz on the 3 o'clock, so he dropped one at the 9 o'clock. Fantastic attack, Skip. Really nice, buddy. A few more trash buildings at 6, and it's see you later. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Skip. All right. Mike Honcho. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen, uh, <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Talladega Nights. <laughs> You'll understand the Mike Honcho reference. Um, Ryan brings a really sweet attack. So here's a little bit of a new age attack because you could not do this before the donated spell. But four earthquakes and three heals. Goes ahead and sends in the one golem, same kind of deal as uh, the last attack. It's going to open up, uh, create the funnel, and then open up the wall here. One, two, three, bam. Wall gets open. It's going to drop uh, five valves in behind this golem. Earthquakes right in the center. Like, look at that perfect earthquake and gets a huge value. Now, those valves, everything just funnel into like a huge core, like vein of this base. Uh, sorry, it was a cold play there. That other golem was a little bit delayed. Uh, so that other golem's in there. It's perfect. Valks are in there. There is a Pekka in there, but I thought that was really good that he brought the Valks as well because uh, Pekkas are not going to do well against Valks. As you can see, the Pekka's already dead. No big deal. He had to burn the abilities on his heroes, but that doesn't matter either. Hawks start going in to kind of reinforce the Valks and the golems kind of in that in that vein. So he's just same kind of deal. Like when you have those Valks in there, you just play follow the Valks, right? When they're in here, you want to start protecting them on this side. So you start sending in a few hogs there. Well, eventually, everything's going to kind of get over here, and he's going to start just continuing to feed in the hogs, right? They start to create their own pathing as all the defenses go down, and you see it, and you got to adjust to it. That's that's how you valk. You can't just plan exactly where you're going to drop your hogs when you valk because it just doesn't, doesn't always pan out the way you see it. So really only a couple more defenses. Expo is down. We got a whiz tower, a cannon, and an arch tower. See you later, buddy. Ryan with the beastly... Govo, I love it. Sexy redheads. Two stars in the bag. Man, I got a lot of tax to show you. About halfway through, I think. <laughs> Ghost Nix. Going in on Mr. Big Dogs. Um, here, I'm going to pause this one. So, Mr. Big Dogs, again, no offense to you, buddy. But there's a huge flaw in your base, and this clearly is a cleanup attack, because maybe it's not a cleanup attack. It, I think it is, though, based on the jump placement, but it wouldn't fully matter because that clan castle is there. This dead zone, me and Caddick just did a, a video about dead zones. Um, and really, this clan castle, and you have a hidden Tesla in here, it screws up the whole dead zone. It just it completely does. If it was a true dead zone, that clan castle was out of there, there wasn't a Tesla in there, 
and he entered from where he does, there's no way he would have got what he gets. I hope that makes sense. So no offense, Mr. Big Dogs, but you need to, if I don't know, guys, it's everyone. If you're going to build a dead zone, build a dead zone, okay? Because a gimmicky fake dead zone will last an attack. And I guess maybe, yeah, you know what, these days, Town Hall 9, that's kind of an achievement, but I'd rather I'd rather lost two attacks. I don't know, just saying. So watch what plays out here. <clears throat> Fast forward that a touch. Entry is in. Just basically creating his funnel. Uh, gonna just take this whole section of base out and then open up the wall here. There go the wall breakers. In they go. Down goes the wall. Golems are redirecting. Instantly deploys the Valks. Thought that was really cool. Um, he must have known what was going on here because there's a golem here. That doesn't matter. Heal goes down, kick care, takes care of everything. That golem's going to burst instantly with those Valks on it. Boom, Valks are under the heal, get healed right back up. No big deal. That jump placement's already down. So he knew his Valks were going to continue to move up and in. He very, very smartly did not connect this expo chamber with that jump. So the only place the Valks had to go was that clan castle. And then the Tesla was there, pulled everything in. Everything's now on that queen. And that's it. That, that is a failed dead zone because of that fact. Uh, if that clan castle wasn't there, um, or at the very least, there was a wall in between clan castle and the dead zone, and that Tesla wasn't there, you might have had a chance. Because if you put a Tesla up here, say, the, the, the golems would have went down into this compartment and, or stood on that wall. Like The golems would have no reason to go into that compartment, so they would not have taken the job. That Tesla completely screwed you, and the clan castle screwed you because it drew the box in. So, tough one, Mr. Big Dog, because Ghost completely exploits that fact. Looking good. Heel goes down. Hogs are in. Under the bomb. Doesn't matter. Tesla, Expo, Archtower, Tesla, Cannon, and we're done. Nice job, Ghost. Very sexy attack. Look at that queen still doing work, too. Sorry when I don't zoom out, guys. That's just dumb. I use blue stacks. I don't know if you guys do, and constantly zooms me back in. It's annoying. Uh, what else have we got for you? What are we at? Twelve? Oh man. Seventeen. Oh man. Home star brings a sweet attack. Look at this army comp. Double zapquake. <laughs> Double zapquake. So four lightning, two earthquakes. I got me a uh, jelly belly dispenser for Christmas, so be jealous, be jelly. <laughs> so Homestar is gonna zap Quake, both these air defense, he gets pretty good value, and then he just suicide heroes it, he has, all he has is three lab islands, four dragons, 15 balloons. Thought that was really cool. So the three Lava Hound still fits the principle, right? You, he's got one more Lava Hound than he does, but he brings all these dragons. Drops the dragons first to kind of tank a little bit for these suicide heroes. Heroes are going to kind of move in here. Dragons take care of that defensive queen. There's literally... it's. Oh, man. This is such a creative attack. I loved it, Homestar. Because it's like the new Shattered Lalo. Who needs golems? You can just bring dragons. <laughs> it's that much easier. <laughs> Zap quakes and dragons. Here come the lava hounds. Two lava hounds in. A couple loons on each defense on the outside. Another lava hound on that second air defense. It's GG. Like there's no way you can defend that at this point. Um, Queen is still doing work around the outside. Nice job, Home Star. Very sexy. Expo, Arch Tower. See you later. Defense King 2. Queen's doing cleanup. Beauty. Nice job, man. Okay. 21. Juicy boy. Juice on graph. So, here's another standard shatter goal. You know, 2020 heroes. Um... And against very similar level here. So this is a very even match, right? Like you can't get more even than this. Uh, two poisons, just a standard Shatter Goho. So graph, you know, you got you to gotta watch this. Here is the problem with this base. And Juice does a really good job exploiting it. If you look at this compartment right here, 
and the distance this little corner is to where his queen is. And in fact, where the queen pad is, she's going to jump into this apartment anyways. So one jump is letting juice into not only the queen, but a double giant bomb here in between two air defense. Also, he's getting two air defense here. Yeah, Juice probably could have just easily um, Lalo this as well because uh, he does get both air defense. He does get the queen. Uh, poisons go down, take care of the poisonable CC troops. Not much you can do about that. But as you can see, DGB gets triggered. King is going to kill that king pad and then go right into that defensive queen. Raging up the king. Bam. Rage. Yeah, there we go. Rage goes down, queen goes down, CC's dead, and in come 30 hogs. At, at this point, like I said, there's only two air defense. He probably could have easily, you know, one, two, shattered, like, lalo this easy, um, as well as as well as done the shattered goho. So, uh, sexy, sexy attack. She's really exploited the, uh, the, the one weakness probably in this base. Um, same idea, though, if you, you could have also came from this uh, 12 o'clock apartment. Um, busted in here, came down here, jumped into this compartment, and you have access to the queen and the air defense, and but obviously Juice picked that side because of the DGB. Da, 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 da. Few more defenses remaining. These hogs are just gonna rip through the rest of this base. No problem, drop the cleanup whiz. I, juice side note, kinda kinda good those builders huts were there. No, no, exactly what happened, thought it uh what I thought, you should have dropped it below this gold mine because I'm going to kill the gold mine and done exactly and just kept going. Try and always drop your cleanup troops on the very, like, very edge of, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, the edge of the funnel. Um, but it really helps with cleanup. doesn't matter because you got like a bazillion hogs coming in from the other side. <laughs> no big deal. Juicy boy with the tree stars. Sexy. Okay. What was that one? 21. All right. That doesn't for Evicta. Cleared the board, you know. A lot of guys had six stars. Really nice attacks in here. I wish I could show them all. I really did want to show a few swarm attacks too, though, because we got some up-and-comers here that are doing really well. As you can see, they struggled a little bit. Kind of in the middle of the nines there. Um, but they did have some really nice... What did I have to start here? Number four. Five zero. Me steps up and brings this very very sexy attack. It is a cleanup attack, but look, a newer kind of spell compilation with the uh, since the update, the earthquakes with three rages. He's gonna bring uh, three lava hounds, two golems. He does the little archer healer trick. No big deal. See you later, lava hound. In goes the shattered entry, just standard shattered Lalo from this point. He's gonna go in, open the wall, take out. See, uh, you know, zero. These like, if you look at where these air defense are, man, like they're just too close. There's no high hit point really. That gold storage is the only high hit point in between those two air defense. Um, defensive queen is also standing right in between those two air defense. So that's a bit of an issue, man. Just a critique. No big deal though. So as you can see, first air defense is down. Secondary defense is about to go down. Queen's locking onto it right now, so instantly goes the Lava Hounds. Two Lava Hounds in on this air defense. Literally, like, two, maybe, like, three blues tops on all these outer defenses. Has two rages for this air attack portion. First one goes down, going to rage everything in over the expo, over the air defense. Second one is going to go down to get everything over top of this remaining air defense. There goes that Lava Hound, and there goes the Rage. Any second now. Rage, 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 Rage. <laughs> Holy delayed Rage. There it is. <laughs> down goes the Rage, and down goes the Air Defense. Two Teslas and Expo are going down. No big deal. Me just rocked it. Stepping up and hitting number five. One of the... Uh, I thought zero was going up to ten, but uh, obviously not yet. But completely max nine. Nice job, me. You know, 19 king, 20 queen with the kind of hybrid spells. You know, he brought the earthquake, three uh, rages. Very nice tack, buddy. Tree stars. Oh, man. All those pups, too. I love how the. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Look at the nail biter moment here. It's like, oh, the lava hound burst. <laughs> Tree stars in the bag. Nice job. All right. 
couple more here to show you off the swarm side. Ghost had a nice tree, but Justin had a nice tree against Ghost. So I want to show this one. Four healers does a little bit of a queen walk. Does the four earthquakes and three spells. Swarm guys really utilizing a lot of that kind of extra earthquake. A lot going for the poison. Bringing that rage to deal with the clan castle. Um, and just abusing the earthquake fact that it's uh, good. This is actually one of the first... <laughs> First replays I showed, I was kind of confused about the earthquake placement. This is the attack actually that that I was thinking of. Um, so Queen Walk goes in. This takes a little bit. I'm gonna hit a time two here. Uh, <laughs> draws out the CC. This Queen Walk gets insane value. This whole basically uh, three o'clock to to midnight position. It's gonna get taken out by this Queen. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Ways to go through the wall, but no big deal. So goes ahead and sends in a shattered entry, both on that uh, on that test. It still has a healer in the bag too. Keep this in mind as well. Healer is about to go down, kind of help things out. <clears throat> uh, everything's moving in. King kind of takes a bit of a straight, but there's nothing else because of that queen walk. He's going to start walking right down into that base. Expo is going to get taken. He's going to walk right down into everything here. He's got 16 hawks to kind of help out. Starts sprinkling them in. This queen walk is still going beautifully. Drops that other healer down. 40% uh, of this base, guys, is taken out by the kill squad. But still 16 more hogs in the bag and two heals. So uh, king ability is about to get rocked up, I believe. Queen ability is already burnt, but no big deal. She's under heals. Working on that clan castle. There goes the king ability. Going to do a little bit of tanking as well for these golems. So they're just perfect, right? Still has not used a heal. Has eight more hogs. He's going to start sending in from 6 o'clock. And get a heal going down over this location. DGB, that's what he was waiting for. Here come the rest of the hogs from 6. Kind of confused. If you knew the DGB was there, kind of a strange strange heal placement, Justin. Um, I would have just saved it and healed down here and then healed exactly where your second heal was so um, just some thought but it's cleanup time beautiful attack can't critique it bam 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 <laughs> heroes at full health under those healers like how the healers they have all four there i'm pretty sure the healers survived that whole raid so nice job justin all right last recap or last replay of this war <laughs> this is an insanely long one so Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys grabbed a fresh coffee before you went to watch this re this recap. Uh, oh yeah, I was going right to the bottom. Paul, Paul to be, Paul to be chef. Paul, just so you know, if you're watching this recap, I am a chef. Paul B to chef. Paul B top chef. Sorry, my bad. Top chef. We should have a showdown. <laughs> Let me zoom out here. See what Paul does. I liked, Paul brings a shatter, this is what I liked about this attack, um, shatter entry with the two witches, uh, recognizes, if you look where these wizard towers are, they're right on the outskirts, other than this one right here, the uh, the witches are going to have free reign, and you know there's a couple mortars in there, but they do have a lot of protection going into this big piece of core, so he's going to have, oh, excuse me, 22 hogs and three heals for the back end, and takes care of a big, big core piece of this base. Jump goes down, kind of unnecessary, right? Because his uh, he, golems and heroes kind of take a straight. Um, but the king, I believe at this point, is going to go up and in. Start taking out some of this trash. You can see all these skeletons in there. Everything kind of takes a bit of a walk for Paul here. Uh, but the only thing in there <laughs> is the king. He ends up getting the archer tower. And what else? Boom. Witches, baby. What?